I'm going to show you how to hack into the New York Times website and read their articles completely for free, but it's not really hacking, we're just manipulating CSS because their website is not built the best. To start, go on the New York Times website and find an article you want to read. I'm going to read this one. And then a window will pop up saying you need to purchase a subscription to read this article. Well, you actually don't have to. I'm going to right click, click on inspect. I'm going to select the select tool. And then I'm going to highlight this box down here and simply click on delete. And then I'm going to select this white box again click on delete and then over here in the navigator we want to find this specific class right here we're going to delete that it's going to take away the opacity but you can see we can still we still can't scroll up and down the article in order to do that we just have to collect select this class gateway container then toggle off these two elements and now we can scroll down through and read this article completely for free. Now the reason you're able to do this is you're not actually hacking into their website. What you're doing is you're simply manipulating CSS. So the New York Times actually doesn't build their website that well. They are serving up all the content and then they're using basic CSS to gate the content. The only downside to that is we can manipulate the CSS in our browser in order to see the content for free. If the New York Times wanted to make their website more secure, they wouldn't serve up the content until they authenticated the user. That way there would be no way to access the content for free.